Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a full face of drugstore makeup. So I'm going to show you guys all the products that we have and I'll list everything in the description box down below of all the products I used. And so if you're interested in seeing that, then just keep on watching. Okay, so first up we're going to prime our face and I'm going to use the Catrice Prime and Fine Smoothing Primer. And this is kind of a dupe for like the Tarte Smoothing Primer. It's kind of like a putty kind of consistency. And this is like a pore filling primer. So I like to start with something like this and just go like right in this area and this area. Sometimes I'll go around my mouth because I get kind of smile lines. And that will kind of fill in that area and help my makeup to stay for a little bit longer. Get that off there. And go on this side, get a little bit more. So I'm just kind of pressing it in with my finger, the warmth of my finger, and I'll go like right in the crease of my nose right here because I will get some makeup like kind of collecting there by the end of the day. And this kind of helps the makeup to kind of sit and float on top of that area and not collect in that little crease and fold. Okay. <clears throat> So I like to go on top of that with a more liquid type primer and I really like this Catrice Prime and Fine Nude Glow Primer. I don't think they have this one anymore. They have a couple of different primers, but I haven't been able to find this one. You may be able to find it on Amazon or something, um, but I don't haven't seen it on Ulta in the like in the Catrice section. So I just put that in all the areas that I didn't put that pore filling primer. And then I'll like lightly kind of smooth over the top of where I put that pore filling primer. And I kind of just, you know, blend it down. It's got a little bit of a tint to it, not much, and it's not really that, it's not really shiny. It's got like a little bit of pearlescent in it, but it's not anything crazy. Okay. So I'm going to go in with this Milani Soft Focus Glow Complexion Enhancer, and it comes in a little tube like this has a little pump on it. I'm just going to take a tiny little bit, like that much, because I don't want to be super like glittery. And I'm just going to put it right here on the high points of my cheeks, a little bit on the forehead, and maybe a little bit down the nose. And I'm just blending that in with my finger. And it just kind of gives like a little bit of a glow. So. And then we'll put our foundation on top of that. So I'm just kind of patting it with my finger to kind of get it in the area that I want it. Same on this side. And then I just kind of blend around the edges. And you can see it gives like a little sheen on there that will give us kind of like that lip from within glow once we put our foundation on. <clears throat> so now I'm going to go in with the CoverGirl Plus Olay Simply Ageless. This one has SPF of 28. And I'm in the shade 240 Natural Beige, and that's what it looks like. I've heard some people say that this is a dupe for the Good Apple Foundation by um, KVD, 
haven't tried the Good Apple Foundation, but I have tried this before. You can see I've used it a couple times. And uh, I really like it. It's super long lasting. I just kind of, it's got like the little swirl in there. And I just kind of take like a tightly packed foundation brush. This is a flat top foundation brush um, from Sonia Kushik that I got this at Target. I just kind of swirl it like that. And I just kind of start going in like with little tapping motions on my face. And I like to kind of blend down my neck so I don't get that harsh line. And I try to go in with kind of a light hand at first because I don't want it to look too thick. And then if I feel like I need more in certain areas, then I'll just go back in. This foundation layers really well. It doesn't um, like pull or anything when you're trying to add more coverage. So that's really nice. It's very smooth and creamy. And I kind of just like barely lightly like brush over my ears just so I'm not having like a really harsh line right there by my hairline. And I'm just kind of tapping it in with the brush right now. And I'll go around my nose and I'll kind of work it into that crease a little bit more. Like I said, I do get foundation collecting there at the end of the day. So I like to kind of blend it into that area really good. And then I'll go like with buffing motions because I kind of was tapping before. And I will, you know, kind of smooth it out with those like circular buffing motions. So that it doesn't look like I just stippled some foundation on and didn't blend it. Okay, so that's all we're going to do with the foundation. I like to just leave it like that with a brush, um, but if you wanted to go in with like a beauty blender or like this is like the Real Technique, Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, I just use it dry um, whenever I'm doing this technique and I just look for areas where like maybe it looks a little thicker or maybe I just feel like it looks kind of like, like weird or blotchy and I just kind of tap it with that. So next we're going to go in with some concealer. I have really dark under eyes so I am really picky about concealer. Um, I like it to be full coverage. I don't want it like settling and creasing. And so sometimes I will use this Pixi um, color corrector. This is in the Brightening Peach. Because like I said, I have a really dark under eyes. I have a really dark skin around my eyes in general. I don't always use this. But um, if you have problems with really dark under eyes, this can be really helpful um, before you go in with your concealer. And it's like kind of a peachy tan and it's like kind of tacky sticky so I just go in with my ring finger and I will just put this like on the darkest part of my under eye where I have like the most blue purple and I try to look up while I'm doing it so that I can get it into all the little creases that are under my eyes and then you can see the difference where I did it with this eye and then there's nothing on this eye. So we'll go in and go ahead and do the other eye. So now we're going to go in with the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. To me, this is very similar to Tarte Shape Tape, so if you're looking for a really good dupe for sharp sh Tarte Shape Tape, um, this is a really good one. It's only $5, and you can get this at Ulta. You can get it at 
Target. This is, I'm in the shade medium peach. And a lot comes out on the doe foot when you take it out of the container. Like it is a lot. So I like just kind of take some of that off on the edge. It's a really nice size doe foot applicator. And now I have like that excess on the edge. So if I need to go back in and get more, I can just tap it on the top. But I just like to do, if I'm just doing everyday makeup, I don't go in with the full um, meal deal. I just tap it right on these darker areas. And then I'll go right here on the edge where I have a little bit darker area. And then I'll just kind of flip it over where there's more product. And I'll do the same thing on the other eye. So as you can see, that was plenty without having all that extra. And I just wipe it off the top and put it back in. All right, so I am going to go back in with my um, Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. And I'm just going to tap this in and kind of blend it out. I like to go across my eyelid because I do get some creasing in this concealer kind of helps to set that area. It does kind of dry down to like a powder finish, but we will set it with some powder as well. Okay. And I'm just going to go in with my ring finger and just kind of let the warmth of my finger just kind of melt it a little bit more. I'm just tapping very gently and just making sure that that's all really blended. Okay. We'll do the same on the other side. Okay, so now that our concealer is blended, we are going to go in with some powder and we are going to go in with some Cody Airspun. And I got this one at Target, but you can also purchase it at Ulta and at Walmart. I'm using the shade Translucent Extra Coverage. This is what the packaging looks like. It's very big. You get a very generous amount in there. When you open it, it does kind of fly all over the place. It's kind of a really messy, loose powder. Um, it kind of has like a, kind of like a, kind of like a perfumey smell, but it's not overpowering. And that smell kind of diffuses away. So first I'm going to go in with a little brush. This is a little e.l.f. blending brush and I'm going to go in with a tiny little bit of powder on there and I'm going to set my under eyes first. And we're not going to bake today because I want to show you guys how to set your eyes without baking because I know some people don't like to do that. So we're just going to go in, make sure there's no creasing before we set it because we don't want to set a crease. And I'll just tap some powder on there, go in with a bit more. And then same on the other side. And I will just leave that on there for a few minutes, kind of like a little mini baking. I only do that because I have really dark under eyes. And I usually bake if I'm doing a full face because it really helps to brighten that area for me. All right, so now we're going to go in with an Eco Tools full powder brush. This is a fairly new one. I have one that I've had over 10 years and it's been washed. A lot and it still looks amazing this one goes in my work makeup bag and then this one is essentially the same brush they just updated it so we're gonna go into that powder just straight in like this I'm gonna shake some of it off and then we will go and set the rest of our face
All right, so now we're gonna go in with some bronzer. I'm gonna use the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. This is what it looks like. And I'm using the shade Bronzer. They have a couple of darker shades and I think they have one shade lighter than this. And we're gonna go in with an e.l.f. pointed powder brush. I like to use this for my bronzer because I can really concentrate it and then I can kind of blend it. So we'll go here. I'll pick up my mirror. And I'm just going right below, like almost on the bottom of the bone where my cheekbone is with my bronzer. Just kind of laying it down there. I kind of pinch the brush, laying it down there. Then I'll let go of the brush and kind of diffuse it out. And this bronzer isn't super pigmented, but you can build it. So I like that about this because I'm not just putting like a harsh stripe and then I'm like having to blend for years. I can just blend, I can just build it as much as I, or as little as I want. We're going to go on the forehead a little bit. I'm just going to warm up the forehead. And I try to think about the areas of my face that would get tanned first. And we'll go on the nose a little bit. And those areas are going to be like your higher points of your face, the pieces that are going to be closer to the sun when you're outside your forehead, your cheekbones, the bridge of your nose. It's all going to get sun before anything else. So I try to just warm those areas up. Once we've canceled everything out with the foundation, we want to add some of that back in. So now let's go in with our eyes. And we will use the Milani Bold Obsessions. I've used this quite a bit. This one stays in my work bag because I can do a lot of different looks with this. It's got um, three rows of four shadows. So it's got 12 shadows in here. And you can kind of mix and match them. They're also curated to be like one look with each row, kind of like that. And they've got this nice chocolate brown if you want to line your eyes with that. And then they've got this dark, dark black. And I really like that for lining as well. All right, so first we're going to go in with a Sonia Kushuk blending crease brush. And I'm going to go right in the crease. And I'm going to use the mirror that comes in here. This is a really good, nice mirror. So I'm just going to use that um, so I can do the shadow and just not have to pick up another mirror. So we'll go in first with this light shade right here. It's called Bear in Mind. And I'm going to take that kind of generously on this brush. And I'm just going to go all over the lid. Just kind of laying down a foundation there. All right, so now we will go in with this same brush and we will go into this shade right here and it is called Bear in Mind. I'm going to grab some of that on this brush. I'm just going to go right into the crease and just kind of work that into the crease. And I'm just using circular motions working my way across the lid in circular motions just like this. And I will do that a couple times. We'll build this color up. Okay. So now I'm going to go in with a little bit more concentrated blending brush. This is just a little blending brush from Sephora. It came in like a little brush kit. We're gonna go right back into that same shade that we had right here. 
and we're just going to intensify that color. You go in with a fluffy brush first to kind of lay down your base and then you go in with a more packed compact brush. That's still a blending brush. You can kind of intensify that without getting too harsh all at once. Okay, so that looks good. Now we are going to go in with a pretty small concentrated little brush. This is a Morphe. I have this Cody Airspun powder all over my brush handles. This is a Morphe M431, and it is even more densely packed than that Sephora one, and it's kind of a little pointed sort of blending brush. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right here into this shade, and that one is called Brunettes Have Fun. Now I'm just going to take a tiny bit of this, and I'm going to knock some of that off, and I'm going to go right in the outer edge right in the outer edge and kind of use stamping motions and we're going to kind of go like in a little sideways V right here and just darken up that outer edge. I'll grab a little more shadow and we'll grab a tiny bit more and we'll just kind of darken it up. I'm just kind of stamping and pulling. And then I'm going to kind of work it up into the crease a little. Okay, that looks pretty. So now we'll go back with this Sephora blending brush. And I'll just, um, I have a shadow switching pan here and we'll just kind of dust that off. We'll go right back into that chocolatey brown shade with this brush and we will just knock the majority of it off. And we're gonna go right into the crease and kind of darken that up. We're gonna use circular motions and we're gonna start right in that V that we darkened so we're not putting a huge blob of dark color. And we're just gonna use circular motions. just like this and then we'll kind of blend it towards the middle of our lid okay so it looks really pretty so now I'm pretty satisfied with that I'm gonna go in with a little blending brush from Sonia Kashuk it's just another fluffy burning blending brush it's a little bit more tapered I'm going to go into these two shades right here and I'm going to go into both of them like boom, 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 knock a little bit of that off. And I'm just going to take this eye and I'm going to go right above where that, cr that crease blending is. I'm going to go right in here and I'm just going to do little circular motions just to kind of soften and diffuse that line. Here we go and then just kind of tie all that together okay so now we're going to go into these two shades we're going to take this bottom shade first on the outer portion where we put that darker matte shade i'm just going to go in with my finger but you could also use a brush like this and you could go in with kind of a more packed little packer brush or you could even use like even a smaller one if you wanted to concentrate that color somewhere very specific. Um, I would recommend with these metallic shades to wet your brush with like a setting spray and before you go in because that will just help it lay down a little bit more vibrantly. So we're going to go in with this shade right here. It is called Suede Side to Side and I'm just going in with my finger. I'm just going to turn so you guys can see a little bit better for this. Now I'm going to go right here where we laid down this darker matte shadow and I'm just going to tap this darker metallic shade just right on that edge. I 
All right, so now we're gonna go into this lighter metallic shade and that one is called Sands of Time. I'm gonna go in with my middle finger. I'm just gonna grab some of the shadow, I'm just swirling it like that. And we're gonna tap that right in the center of our lid and just kind of like kind of tap and drag. Obviously not pulling, just tap as you move your way across the lid. Let me shut my mouth so I don't look like a fish. I'm gonna kind of blend those two together. So I started right where that darker one ended and kind of just tapped and pulled it towards it to make sure it was blended in. Just taking a closer look. I wanna do a, get a little bit brighter here. So we're just gonna go in with a little more and kind of work down into that crease of my eye. All right, I like the way that looks. I'm gonna take a makeup wipe, clean my fingers. Another great trick if you have a makeup wipe out already to like clean your hands, you can just swipe that right over like one of your packer brushes to kind of dampen it and you can pick up the shadow that way and that works really well if you don't wanna spritz it with setting spray. All right, so I kind of got some metallic shadow kind of in my crease and I don't really want that. It's eventually going to happen throughout the day because I have a little bit of hooded eyes, but for right now, I want it to be nice and um, smooth there like with matte shades. So I'm gonna go into this lighter shade here and some of this darker shade here and I'm gonna tap a tiny bit and I'm just going to just fluff through that crease so gently so I'm not disturbing the metallic too much and just kind of redefine that area, okay? Now we will go back in with our little elf brush that we used for our Cody Airspun. And I'm just going to take some of this lightest shade and we're just going to do it up to the brow bone because we're going to do some highlight up there and I want to kind of get that kind of canceled out. So that's what that's going to look like. Looks really pretty. All right, so now we have both eyes done. Let's do some liner. And I'm going to go in with this Morphe brush and it is a Morphe 508. And it's kind of a flat, it's kind of flat at the top. And we're going to go right into this dark chocolate shade, Brunettes Have Fun. We got a little bit of fallout under our eyes. So I'm going to take this same brush that we did our setting powder with. I'm just going to grab a tiny bit of setting powder. We're just going to fly that fallout away. Okay. And that is fine. All right, so we're gonna take our liner brush and we're just gonna go straight into this chocolatey brown color. And we're just, I'm just gonna go straight into my eye. Don't try to go like this, because you're gonna get it where you don't want it. Go basically perpendicular to your face. We're just gonna go right in there and we're gonna do some shadow liner. I like to do this. I feel like it makes my lashes look a little bit more full when I use powder as my liner. And then I don't have to worry about grabbing another product. You can just use the same palette. The great thing about using powder for your liner is that if you mess it up, you can basically just go right back in with a shadow and kind of clean it up. So now we will go ahead and do our brows. I like to take a little spoolie brush and kind of brush through my brows because at this point I have lots of powder in my brows and I like to just kind of brush that to kind of grab some of that soft powder so I'm not getting a lot of chunkiness when I go in with my brow pencil. And now we're going to go in with the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil. I have repurchased this multiple times. I get it at Target. 
and it's got the component on this side. See, that's it. I'm almost out, but I have another one. And then it's got a little spoolie on this side. So I'm just going to go in with the pencil and do like kind of flicking motions and just kind of fill in those areas that aren't as thick and I can kind of match it with the rest of my brows. And then I just very lightly kind of flick towards the end because I don't like that piece to be too thick. So now I'm going to take the spoolie and I'm just going to kind of brush that color. It's kind of like a like a creamy like crayon kind of consistency. So I'm going to brush that color through and then we'll set it with some powder. Now we're going to go back into the shade Brunettes Have Fun right here that we use for our liner. And we are going to put that into our brows to set them. Set that kind of cream product. It's not really a cream product, but it's a little more emollient. And I'm just going to take it on an angled brush. This one's from EcoTools. And I'm just going to kind of go in with the flat side and kind of fluff it across. And I'll, I like to start more in the kind of thicker part of my brow so I don't like lay a bunch of color in a thinner area and then I'm screwed because I just made a huge blob and then I just feather it down the tail. Okay let's do some mascara and some highlight. I actually do have a um, more budget highlighter. This one came in an Ipsy bag for me. This is the Sugar Contour DeForce Mini Highlighter and Champagne Champion. I love this highlighter. It's like a high-end highlighter, but it's affordable. I think it's like $10 if you buy it on its own. It's got a little magnetic closure. So we're going to go in with the highlight and then we will go in with some blush. So sometimes I like to do my highlight with my finger and then blend it out with a brush, but we'll go in with a brush today. Remember we did that height, that cream highlighter underneath our foundation and that still is showing through. I'm going to take an e.l.f. small tapered brush and I go in with this on the side like this. Just kind of tap it in and I get some on the brush. And then I'll just go in and kind of tap it on those high points of my face. And then I'll kind of blend it like that. And you can see how pretty that is. And there's no like weird cast when I look forward. And then you can see it like that. So then I'll go in on the other side, same thing. I'm just using a very light hand so you can always go in with more and that just get I just love this highlighter it gives like a really pretty soft glow and I'll go back in and I'll tap and then I'll kind of go right here on the high points of my forehead and just kind of blend like that and then I will take a little brush, whatever tiny little brush I have, and I'll go back into that same highlighter and I will do a brow highlight. I love doing a brow highlight. I'm just that person. I feel like it ties my makeup, my eye makeup all together. Makes it look really pretty. And then if we want, we can go in and do an inner corner highlight. And I just go in with this tiny little brush, grab some of the highlighter, and I go right in the inner corner. And that is really pretty. So now we'll go in with some blush. And I have two different blushes here. I'm going to kind of use both of them. This is the Ulta Beauty Flushed Blush. This is the Mineral Blush. And I really like it because you can really buff it and blend it. This is in the color Pink Smoke. And then we also have a Milani blush. This is in the shade Luminoso. Luminoso. And it's like a pinky kind of like champagne-y, really 
like pinky peach. It's beautiful. I like to use this when I'm not wearing a ton of makeup. I just do like a quick in and out girl and go. I just go in heavy with a brush and just really blend it because it, it, it blends perfectly. It really diffuses out and it's great for just like a quick grab and go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Firma 103 brush. It's kind of like a little angled blush brush and we're going to go right into our Ulta and I'm going to swirl and tap a little excess off and then we're going to go right. I don't like to smile and then put my blush on because if you move your face to apply a product when you when you're just having a relaxed face your product's not going to be where you put it or where you thought you put it. So I just like to go right here, kind of a little bit higher than the edge of my nose, and I'll kind of stipple it in, and then I'll kind of swirl it towards my temple. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. And that is just the Ulta blush. I like to go in with a little bit more because more is more. And I'll take this Milani on, this is a Farah F50 brush. And it's really super fluffy. I love this for when I'm doing very minimal makeup and going in with blush because it's just like super easy. And I'm just going to go and swirl into here, shake some of that off. And then we will just kind of like swoosh that across our highlighter and our blush. Because this Milani blush has a bit of a sheen to it. So it's not going to completely diffuse your highlighter away. And it will just kind of add a little bit more of a pinky sheen to that first one we put on. And that looks good. All right, so now I'm going to go in with some liner and I am going to use just a plain brown liner. I love doing a brown liner. I have brown eyes and we did a brown makeup look. So this is gonna look really cute. This is just the Ulta Automatic Eyeliner and it is in the shade Matte Brown. And it just comes in a little twist up component. And I'm going to put that right in my waterline. And if I can get away with it uh, and get it in my waterline without pulling down on my, that delicate skin, that is what I like to do because I have enough bags under my eyes, I don't need to create any more. All right, so now we're going to go in with some mascara, and one of my favorite ones from the drugstore, I have this probably in every color, and I have the waterproof, is this L'Oreal Lash Par Voluminous Lash Paradise. This one is in the shade Black Brown. I'm going to curl my lashes. I don't always do this, but if I have time, I like to because my lashes are trash, and they stick straight out. So when I try to put mascara on, it sometimes gets on my lid because my lashes are very not curled and I find it to be easier when my lashes are curled to apply mascara. So we're going to curl the lashes really quickly. And then we'll just go in with our Lash Paradise. And I do my bottom lashes first, and I just kind of look down and coat those. I've seen some people curling their bottom lashes. I am terrified to do that. I don't really know what that does, but we won't be doing that. Now, I won't go back into the tube. I'll just go straight to my upper lashes, and I kind of go on the base of my lashes and kind of wiggle it through like that 
because if I just try to sweep it through, I will get it on my lid because my lashes are so short. And they're not very curled, even though I curled them. My oldest son has the curliest, longest eyelashes on planet Earth. It's not fair. All right, so that's one eye done. We'll curl the other side and then we'll go in with the other eye. And we will get into some false lashes in a different video. This is just a very simple look. If, you, if I wasn't filming this, I could probably achieve this in about 20 minutes. I'm trying to go slow and show you guys, you know, every bit of the process so that you hopefully can follow it very, very easily. Just going in with a second coat of this mascara for my trash lashes because they are horrible. Okay, so that is that. Now I got a little bit of mascara right here on the edge of my eye and I'm not going to do anything with that until it's dry because once it's dry I can just flick it off. If you try to take it off when you first like goof your mascara you're going to just smear it, wait till it dries and then it'll just flake right off. Okay so now we're going to go in with a lip to complete and I have foundation lips and I hate that some people like that because it gives them like a kind of a base I hate it because I feel like the foundation just bunches up underneath the lip and I don't like that so we're gonna take that off with a makeup wipe and sometimes you can get kind of a harsh line once you take off the foundation lips and so in that case, I will just go in with my finger and just kind of diffuse that line around my lips. All right, so now we will go in with some liner. I'm going to use the NYX Professional Makeup Suede Matte Lip Liner in Whipped Caviar. <clears throat> and I'm just going to line right outside the very edge of my lips. Okay, so now we are lined, and I'm going to go in with one of my favorite lipsticks. This is from Revolution Pro. This is a velvet matte lipstick. And this is in the shade velvet. I have a couple more of these. They're a little more neutral, but this one is so pretty. And we did a neutral eye so we can do kind of like a more older lip. So we're going to go right in with that. This is the lipstick. And I'll swatch it on my hands for you guys. And we're just going to fill in what we lined. Okay. Now I'm going to go on top of this with some of this Wet n Wild Cloud Pout. This is the Marshmallow Lip Mousse and it is in the shade Girl You're Whipped. That's what it looks like. I got this one at Ulta but I have also have another one in the shade Fluffernutter that I got at Walmart. And these are very inexpensive. They smell so good. They're so creamy. 
and I'm just going to go on top of this with that just to kind of diffuse the center part. Now, if I was just quickly going somewhere and I didn't want to do the full meal deal with lip liner, lipstick, all that, I would just go straight in with this. It's a beautiful color. It's kind of like a pinky mauve color. It's so soft. It doesn't dry your lips out. And it is just beautiful. You can just use that all on its own. It doesn't really bleed. You don't really need lip liner. So if you were wanting to do something quickly, you could do that. Okay, you guys, this is the completed look. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up and hit the bell to be notified of all my upcoming videos. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more makeup looks like this. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see more drugstore or you want to see some luxury. I'm super excited to do some more videos for you guys. And um, yeah, that is all for today. And I hope you guys like this. I think it turned out super cute. It was all super affordable um, makeup. And I will list everything in the description box below that I used and the shades that I used if you need to use me for shade matching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.